What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have a long awaited, I know, vintage haul, okay? Yes, I know this is long over weighted. I try not to over consume vintage. I simply like to add my essentials that I know will last and add staples that I know I'm missing to complete this like perfect wardrobe of vintage, if that makes sense. I feel like this is the most sustainable way to shop vintage. Not, not only does it help you build a versatile closet, but at the same time, you're building a unique closet. So it kind of hits both ends of the spectrum. The people with the best sense of fashion I've seen personally are the ones that dress full vintage or at least incorporate some type of vintage into the outfit building so definitely stay tuned to this video i feel like it's gonna be filled with a bunch of bangers and hidden gems for you guys to take from what you will so keep tuned to this one on the topic of sustainability and ethical practices embarking on these practices is something that is really near and dear to the channel and something that i try to embrace at all times in some type of way i try to make sure that i am consuming product in a mindful way and making sure that everything that i indulge in is ethically practiced and sustainably practiced in some type of degree and a brand that shares those same two values is native who are the sponsors of today's video so huge shout out to native for partnering with me yet again i really really appreciate them so so much it's been lovely working with native and if you guys are unfamiliar with their product i'm going to jump into all the details about that right about now so my reason to switching to an aluminum free deodorant actively implementing these changes really really shift your state for the better and so it was a truly fitting shift for myself the feeling is unmatched i've honestly but i've been using the other ones from my previous integration which i will be linking on the top here so you guys can go check out the ones that i got previously feels like a second skin of sorts honestly you barely even notice it. The texture is not sticky. The ingredients are aluminum free, carbon free, cruelty free, and vegan. So it hits every single box for a lot of individuals. So it's just very mindful all across the board. So these are the three scents that I got. We got the sensitive version, which is cucumber and mint. Bao Bing. Then we got sea salt and cedar. Boom. Bao Bing. Lastly, we got my one of my favorites from the last time. I'm happy I re-upped on this powder and cotton. Boom. Bao Bing. Pew. All the deodorant have all day production, which covers up to like 72 hours. So you're gonna be set no matter when you're putting this on. This one on right now, just cause this is one of my favorites. So you know the midday heat, you can't, you can't have too much of these on, man. So powder and cotton smells very much like a fresh set of linens, like something fresh out of the laundry. So you smell just like clean clothes, which is great for what I've been talking, well, which is the subject of this video, which is vintage. You wanna make sure that you smell nice in used clothing, if that makes sense. Make sure you're showering, make sure you're putting on some good deodorant and make sure that your vintage is actually smelling good. You can't be out here smelling dusty. Nobody wants that, okay? No stinky boys around none of that we got to do better no stinky boy society that's what we're claiming all 2023 just smells very fresh a lot of like aqua very light at the same time so that's what i get from cucumber mint and then from sea salt and cedar this smells kind of like a sea smells kind of like beachy that type of vibe you know what i mean not not beachy in the sense of like it's very like mineral of sorts so that's what i really like about this all of these are very fresh very summertime spring that type of vibe it's going to complement and make sure that you're smelling flesh to death like a million bucks going back to the cucumber mint this is actually from their sensitive range so if you guys don't know i have extremely sensitive skin you guys hear me talk about it when i talk about skincare body care anything in general even when i'm taking care of my clothes i have to wash them specifically to make sure that it doesn't affect my skin so the sensitive range is really helpful with that not only like like the main range is already super gentle but this is just the extra step it has no baking soda whatsoever and also it's made with coconut oil and magnesium oxide which is derived from the dead sea so all very very great ingredients so all that being said you can use my code chiron w2 that will get you 20 percent off of your first purchase on native this offer is for site wide but it is also for a limited time so make sure you guys go stock up get all your goods stack up like i did i'm good for the whole summer when i got i got three of these i'm still on the last one i'm good boy i'm good i'm smelling good my vintage is not gonna stink Let's get on to that vintage clothing.
make it. We made sure that it was fresh. Now we gotta go actually see the garments that we're keeping fresh, all right? So let me get into those. So there's no specific order for these vintage pickups, but one piece that I've been getting a whole lot of compliments on, and I am just so excited that I finally found a pair. They are slightly meme, but I really don't care because they just suit my proportions oh so well, and I know I'm gonna be wearing them a ton this spring, summer. All that build up for the following. These are a pair of Carhartt double knees, but the denim iteration. Can't really fully show you these on camera, of course, because these pants are OD long, but the wash is something that I was trying to hunt for a long time. A lot of these pairs could fetch you upward of like 300 plus dollars on even sites like eBay and all your like secondhand vintage, uh, curated vintage sites, but I got a really good deal through Pearl Ivory. So shout out to the team over at Pearl Ivory for helping source this pair for me. I've been trying to find a pair for God knows how long. And all the pairs I was finding were like either a dark indigo, which I wasn't a fan of, way too much distressing, which I wasn't a fan of, or the sizing was just off. And this hit every single box that I just talked about in the better part of it. So the inseam is perfectly long. It's like, it's gonna fall and hit the shoe like glue, of course, and then, has a light bit of distressing, you know, like good patchwork on the back. It has this little front hit right here, like the two low distressing bits on top of where the double knee is. That's all that there is to it. A little bit on the knee, but I might even like just let those rock for now. And then, yeah, yo, yeah, just like they're 34, sort of a bit more baggy. Uh, they're like I said, rest on the shoe crazily. Crazily is my is a freaking made up word. What the hell am I talking about? But anyway, the light and the go everything everything is just so perfect about this pair of denim i'm really excited highly recommend you guys look into whatever type of pet makes you feel comfortable but i do know that i'm a sucker for a good jean and uh work pants slash carpenter pants that are on the baggier side tend to flatter my proportions very very well with what i like to wear so i'm gonna be rocking with these in the summer very simple outfit white tee blue jeans some nice boots maybe this cap this is a fit right here you know what I, mean? I could wear it with this it's very versatile i love this pant on to the next one so this tee is something i've been waiting to talk about because i got this what for christmas and i haven't had a chance to show it to you guys yet but we got this pink floyd vintage tee yes 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 i have not shown this on the channel yet since i've gotten it but huge shout out to louis the story of this t-shirt is there's like a, a shop in in Montreal that had this tea. Louis and I would go into the shop and just like check out like the heater t-shirts that are there, just like browsing. And then we see it, been trying to negotiate for this tea for quite some time. And then I just never bit the bullet because I've never been one to drop mad money on vintage teas. I just don't know why. I can't just, I can't justify it in my head, even though I've spent quite a bit of money on other items. Of course, you guys are familiar on the channel, obviously, but all the vintage teas I get are for like a steal or or they're gifted to me and i know that sounds very privileged but i'm just saying from from my mental state right here i i have never paid more than i want to say maybe a hundred bucks for a vintage tea maybe maybe don't quote me on that maybe do quote me on that but that's what i'm thinking i don't think i paid more than a hundred bucks but this was like going off the hip for like three bills or something you guys know what these go for um the pink floyd joints the north american tour 1994 so yeah this was just perfect wash brockham i don't have any brockham blanks um, so this is just like a classic classic vintage tee i know i'm gonna wear it a ton in the summertime this is just something you could get plenty of wear out of and it's just gonna keep on getting more and more character as you wear it i love that it has a montreal date that's something that i love to to really find in the vintage tees that i wear um but yeah in general, the story with this is that I didn't want to cough up the money, kept on window shopping, seeing it, wasn't buying the bullet. Then Louie and I had like a, not a secret Santa. We just wanted to get each other gifts for Christmas. And we set our budget at like that range of price, like 300 bucks. And I completely forgot about this shirt. And then voila, it's here. Magnificent in all of its glory. Super stoked to have this tea. Insane, so dope so dope i'm happy that summer and spring is approaching because i'll actually be able to wear that thing and show it off a bit more instead of having all these stupid layers because winter sucks it just sucks 
<laughs> so on the theme of Pink Floyd, these two pieces were sent by Eddie Dong. Really great curated vintage selection. And he was kind of left kind enough to send me these two pieces. But the first piece, of course, since we were going, since we we're going Pink Floyd theme, this is this paper thin Pink Floyd joint. Got two for two over here. This is another great just wash black paper thin. You could see kind of like the transparency through it on my end at least. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, actually, you can see it through there. You can kind of see the door through the neckline. Uh, but yeah, just like a really, really, really nice t-shirt. I don't know why it's repaired like this. I've never seen a repair job done that way before, but yeah, the back graphic, you can see the fading going on there. The front, perfectly boxy. It's just like a really great charcoal black. I know it's gonna get a lot of good wear this summer. So I'm happy I have like just nice two, two faders for the summer. This one's a bit more of a fader than the other, but two heavy hidden Pink Floyd joints to add to the collection. Just really 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 good vintage tees i have yet to get some good ones back into the rotation but you guys know i, I got some heat i've made vintage tea and vintage videos in the past that i'm gonna pop up on the side for you guys to go and tune in if you haven't already because we haven't done vintage on the channel in a bit and i'm sorry i'm sorry for all the vintage heads i was in my vintage bag for a while but then eventually you hit a point where you 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 got you got the vintage you good you don't there, there's enough that you could get then you hit that ceiling and you're like okay i have all of my bases there's not much more to go for but with the vintage tees you could just keep on going honestly but now you guys know where my mental block has been i've just been not wanting to shell out the money for some vintage tees but if i go back to new york or something maybe i'll do a little metropolis shopping louis is more of the enabler when it comes to vintage so if i go to new york with louis he'll probably end up telling me to get some type of vintage tea of sorts so we're gonna get into the next item from Eddie that he sent over, which is another pair of these double knees. Sadly, these do not fit me. So you will be seeing these on my whatnot. They're just these painters that are all over splattered. Great little fade on them too. These are just like a great pair of double knees. Good for the summer. Nice little blowout there, but it's protected by the double knee pa um, panel, of course. So yeah, just cool little fades all around it. Claw heart, bang. Yeah, just really, really cool. Good pair. Can't go wrong with something like this. And yeah, I think these were, yeah, these are made in US. What are they tagged as? I think they're like a, yeah, they're a 32, 32, but you know how vintage goes. Like measurements are all over the place. And I realistically with Carpenter, with Carhartt Carpenters, I tend to go up a size or two to get like that baggy look that I'm really going for. So unfortunately these don't fit, but with the upcoming whatnot lives that I'm hinting you guys on they're they're coming, they're coming back. These will be available along with a lot, a lot a lot of other stuff so get ready for that it, it, it it's it's coming people I'm, I'm gonna let you know get prepared because we not playing we got a lot of gear on the way for y'all and the last piece this is a pair of pants that i found before getting the rick owens geth leather pants as you guys know i'm a leather fanatic it's one of the pieces or you can't even call it a material just like one of the textures that i tend to gravitate towards a lot with outfit building and just in general i find it makes things very luxe and it's just something that i really enjoy um my vintage leather trench coat and i've been trying to find a pair of vintage leather trousers for quite some time but finding one in your size with like the right leg opening and everything is not easy people especially like online I don't know what it is but people had small inseams back in the day it just wasn't cutting out for the boy but these are pretty sick honestly they they do what it do they're like the closest thing I found as a vintage alternative to what I wanted out of a leather pant but you guys know me the geths are just chef's kiss ever since I've gotten those they've been amazing so I haven't been rocking these as much ever since I got the geth I feel feel kind of like Andy from Toy Story. I got a new toy and now I don't want to play with these no more. So these might be on the whatnot as well, but these were a sick find, honestly. This was an eBay snipe. I really, really love these. I'll have to see if I refine my love for these, but if not, they will be on the whatnot as well. But the fit is pretty awesome on them. Can't really complain. They're more of like a straight fit than like a wide cut. And the leather isn't like as crinkled. It's more like a smooth, but it's still calf leather. So it is still pretty heavy. The only thing that sucks is the belt holes are a bit smaller, but it definitely is a men's pant. And it fits like a 32, like a 32, 33 even. 
yeah, around that range. But yeah, full genuine leather. Someone was trying to chirp me in the comments on the last video about genuine leather. Yes, I know about that whole thing about genuine leather is the sometimes allocated to the worst grain of leather, but I was referring to genuine leather being that it is authentic leather not faux leather or anything of the sort and i know that sometimes they market genuine leather just to make it that type of quality but this is that good good okay don't play with me <laughs> That is all the vintage pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was uh, amazing to make. It's been very nostalgic. I haven't done a vintage video in quite some time. I know it's not a million items. Like I said, with vintage, I'm trying to be more selective, curated with my picks and really get things that I know I'm going to integrate into my wardrobe and really mix and match with my everyday style. Things like leather pants denim vintage tees like, like even those tees i could wear them inside out and just wear them as a basic tee just because of the fade there's just a lot of longevity with pieces like that and it adds a little hint of character to your outfit building so i strongly suggest you guys to look into vintage if you haven't already I'm sure a lot of you guys have there's just so much range that you guys could do with vintage and i think it adds a lot of dynamic range to outfit building doing the high with the low all of that in between perfect absolutely perfect thank you guys for stopping by this video once again if you guys haven't already make sure to go check out native really appreciate them for sponsoring today's video once again make sure to let me know what your favorite piece was in this video down in the comment section below as well as what you guys are planning on wearing this spring summer in relation to vintage or what what's some on what what's some pieces on your bucket list that you're trying to get vintage related i just want to bring that vintage conversation back in in the chat man bring it back because i want to i want to chop it up with you guys it's been a while since we talked vintage so always down to have a good fashion conversation with you guys that's about it make sure to go follow the boy on instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E, is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's what you can check out on there as well as the rest of my social media accounts could be found in the description box below my tiktok swage one word that's it and yeah that's about it make sure to like this video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new i'm gonna be out peace see you guys on our next one yeah